of poor ventilation, seasonally speaking? Well, in the summertime, the roof ventilation removes an awful lot of heat from the attic. If not, um, uh, proper, without proper airflow. No, sorry about that. Sorry again. Do you want... So, who's looking? Who's not looking? So I should, I should look over here. Yeah, no, that's okay. You, you stay there. I'll look over there. and or sit on here? That's okay. I can stand. So what are the dangers of poor ventilation, seasonally speaking? Well, in the summertime, the roof ventilation removes an awful lot of heat and moisture from our attics. Without proper airflow in the roof, uh, in the attic space, the heat and the moisture just tend to build up in this area. I think we've all been up in the attics of old houses and felt that stifling heat that can occur. Not only does it cause us to have bigger energy bills trying to cool off our homes now because the attic is so hot, this additional heat and moisture can cause premature failure of a lot of the roofing materials themselves. So it's providing a drying effect and a cooling effect for lower moisture levels and lower energy bills. In the winter time, the, uh, the, the problems are actually quite the reverse. In the winter time, one of the, the, the issues we have is that the moisture from the home, as it's flowing up into the attic space, can be beginning to condense on these cold surfaces. When it condenses on the cold surfaces, the water is then absorbed by the wood and the other materials, causing them to fail prematurely. You can also have, without proper roof ventilation, ironically, some heat buildup in this attic space again, which will cause snow melt to occur on the roof. When the snow melt occurs, the water runs down the roof surface and then refreezes at the eave, calling up to creating what we call um, ice damming. Ice damming causes additional damage to the roofing materials by creeping back up the roof and expanding and breaking up everything in its path. So proper roof ventilation in the winter not only helps remove the moisture from the home, it helps prevent some of the ice damming that can occur that damages those shingles and other exterior materials. I uh, understand that we want to go for natural ventilation. Can you tell me a bit about natural ventilation and how the simplicity of it uh, protects your roof? Sure. Na natural ventilation occurs principally by taking advantage of some forces that are going to be working on the house every day. Uh, the two principal effects which move the air through the attic by a natural ventilation are the stack effect and the wind effect. In the stack effect, we all know that warm air rises like a hot air balloon. Well, as the warm air in the attic, or as the attic becomes uh, uh, heated by the sun striking the roof, it heats up the air on the underside of the roof deck, and this warm air then wants to migrate up and out the first hole it can find. Well, as the air leaves the attic, this creates a partial vacuum in this attic area, and the air outside tries to force its way in to replace the air that's been exhausted. This is the stack effect. It's extremely efficient at removing air from the attic space whenever the sun is out. A second effect that occurs is called the wind effect, and that is whenever the wind blows across the roof and hits the ridge, it creates a kind of partial vacuum on the leeward side of the ridge. And this is the same effect which actually causes an airplane wing to rise. This force is so strong it can lift an airplane off the ground. The same force is now working on your roof. By creating a partial vacuum again, it has pulled the air out of the attic and the cooler, drier outside air forces its way in to replace it. These two forces are working usually simultaneously on all of our homes. Uh, and this is a very efficient way to take advantage of the energy nature is giving you to exhaust the air from your home. Now, uh, I understand that ventilation is also about balance. Can you talk about a balanced ventilation system and how that works? Well, balancing this ventilation system is absolutely critical. What you want to do is basically have the exact same amount of exhausted air be placed as low as possible on the roof itself. Um, uh, the, the pressure created by the exhausting air must be made up equally. If you don't have a balance of basically one and you know, one half in and one half in, creating the one going out, without that, if you don't have enough make up air, as we call it, coming into the attic space, that exhausted air creates that partial you know, vacuum air will be coming from the home then up into the attic whole scale. That's carrying energy with it. This is paid for air that you don't want leaving your home. You want to keep it there. So to prevent the attic ventilation from pulling all of your paid for air out of the home that you've paid to condition, you have to give it sufficient makeup air at, at the uh, lowest points of the roof. It's critical to not actually increasing your energy bill to get all the benefits you want of drying and durability without increasing your energy bill. 